Good morning and welcome to the dialogue. Of course, you are watching Net2 television and it is the 16th day of April and we can be we can only be thankful to the most high for granting us um, the glory to see this day. Hopefully the day is pregnant with hopes and aspirations and let's keep dreaming whilst we adhere to measures that will help contain of course the spread of the deadly corona virus as you're tuned into the dialogue this morning you are reminded you can watch um, this program and any other program on net 2 via our digital platforms at net 2 tv gh on youtube facebook and of course instagram our presence is also on twitter and it's not just net 2 television you can also watch our sister station oman fm 107.1 at oman on oman tv on their youtube and facebook channels once again this is the conversation for the nation as we as is, as is called and this is the platform where we dialogue with personalities so we get to know what is happening in town Without wasting much time, could we just take a look at the front pages and the back pages of the various newspapers as we have them? The New Crusading Guide is the first paper, is the first port of call, and we have Tall Boss Resigns over $4.5 million bribery allegations. Of course, this is the trending issues lately, and um, it seems to be gaining traction. Chief, Chief Elders of uh, Namwa, Namwa, Namwa Lug petition government, I beg your pardon if I got the um, pronunciation wrong, over Zanshi's fraudulent agreement. We also have bloody clash at Kukrubite as knee affair, as knee affair led land guards flout lockdown protocol to install chief. Also on the front page, um, at the back page, we have the new crusading guide. We can't afford total lockdown, majority leader assets. And uh, Coco Board confident of annual syndication despite COVID-19. So that is the new crusading guide. The ABC News is next. Then we have some pot shots of some officials. On the front page and the headline, the caption accompanying the photographs read, Mahama and his boys in 4.5 energy deal scandal. And herbal medication for coronavirus welcome once approved, Oko boy. And Kojo Opoi Nkrumah says, Ghanaians still smuggling persons infected with COVID-19 into Ghana. And the editorial is on the lockdown extension, which they claim is imperative. So that is the ABC News. Next stop is the Ghanaian Times. And public warning, coronavirus is real. Follow prevention protocols to stop COVID-19 spread. Um, I guess it's attributing the caption to Dr. Okoboy, the deputy minister designate who went through the vetting process yesterday. Hopefully today or in the next few um, days, he will be approved. COVID-19 Trust Fund receives 3.2 million Ghana cities and $250,000 donations as at yesterday. I guess it's um, for yesterday. And then COVID-143, 143 casual workers laid off at Tamale Hospital. 143 casual workers laid off at Tamale Hospital. La Mansamokwe hands over medical facility to Ghana Health Service. La Mansamokwe hands over medical facility to Ghana Health Service. And Family Health Hospital presents PPEs to, Ghana, to the Greater Accra Regional Hospital. So it's a family health hospital donating to another hospital, I guess it's the regional hospital, um, popularly called the Ridge Hospital. Blood banks run dry, Dr. Justin Ansa. I guess this is um, a serious issue we've all um, lost sight of. Um, I guess it will be in relation to the COVID-19 pandemic. Also on the front page of the Daily Graphic, disregard video on reopening of schools, Director General, um, for the Ghana Education Service cautions. We can't fight COVID-19 in fear. Dr. Leticia Pierre, 
is admonishing us to be optimistic and um, wipe away the anxiety levels. You can grab a copy of the Daily Graphic and have a look at that story. Zenith Bank. Zenith Bank supports COVID-19 fund with 1 million Ghana cities. So that's the front page of the Daily Graphic. Um, at the back page, AMA launches where your nose mask campaign. AMA launches where your nose where your nose mask campaign. And um, yes, we've seen the headline already. Tamale Central Hospital lays off 143 casual workers. So this is, these are the headline stories for the front pages. And the back is as we have them um, today. But as you know, soon I'll be introducing our guests who will be seated in the studio and then we'll engage in the conversation for the nation. This week we've been looking at our social responsibilities of all citizens, including yourself, myself, corporate institutions, government, and um, what have you, in handling the pandemic of course, containing the spread of this um, pandemic. But before, but before we take, um, we go into the discussions proper, let's just remind ourselves to wash our hands very regularly. Of course, if you can't find any hand sanitizers, make sure before you leave home or at the nearest source of um, running water, you wash your hands and observe the social distancing protocols. Never forget to download the COVID-19 tracker application as well, so you can update the, um, the authorities on issues concerning yourself and your safety concerning the COVID-19. We'll be speaking to our Shanti Regional Correspondent, um, Hayford, and in a moment, and he will tell us, he will give us um, an idea of what's happening in the Greater Kumasi Metropolitan Area. Of course, the two areas, Greater Kumasi Metropolitan Area and the Greater Accra Metropolitan Area, Gamma, have been under lockdown, a partial lockdown for some time now. It's actually been extended. So let's go to the phone lines and speak to uh, my brother, Hayford. Good morning, Bra Hayford. Good morning, Zinia. Pacha Tisayon. I'm not the one. Also, ah, boko. So far, Accra, no, and yeah, 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 thankful because um, yeah, 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 to me, I'm sorry, ah, yeah, that young couple, I say, also, yeah, yeah, GDC, also, sir. I'm not the one. So, yeah, yeah, sorry, young couple, I'm my catcher, man, from the minimum. Yeah, sorry, yeah, uh, come on, so yeah, yeah, boy, Juma. Okay, and to Brad Hayford, I know pay um, then, of course, I mean, over the past few days, we've been to me and my um, an idea of what the partial lockdown situation has been like in the uh, greater Kumasi metropolitan area. In your medassi, said here, she say, a group no solo, greater Kumasi, a year, this later, best a dunaya, and no, a cambum, a year, greater Kumasi. Uh, Kumasi Metropolitan Assembly, a demo a cotene, a curriculum, a cahon, a court tafo, a tafo, and also a cahon, a boy east, and so a cahon be a fijak, a boy south, a cahon, a court swamia, and also a can greater Kumasi, and I feel quite that so, and so a cahon, and a mere mea, a cambuma, a yet greater Kumasi, and in I can district a yet lockdown at home. Now, Opa, a boy. Quabre, a year, Ufi, Quabre, now Oqua, Santimampo, Agona, and in a patemo. Little Kumasino, a whole Anna, a BC, a free, a Fija, a corn. Now, Ophensi, a young penny for the Guaponsona, who be grew as no maso and quanta, a month for a free Agona, Mampo, Ebano, police barrier, Ewoho, into a month with free Mampo, and into in room, a ma, Quabre, a Bakumasi, a more observing lockdown, a whole police barrier, Ewoho. And I feel so offensive airport no. Also, air quantum point is here. We do call there. Also, and penny for a book, police barrier, or more has a amount for in free a Fijaka Abre South and call of a Fijaka Abre North and then offensive and then take a home. Who free or brass is so a kind air bar, also a trauma. Also, in penny for a book barrier, our war, or more has a amount for in free or brass, the quiet and mark commercials. Every time we lock down, we also know when for the police barrier above. That's also an adjustment. We feel in kind of air bar. Also lock down a cabin. 
for
I drink a crassy beer and a pose between I share I be your because a nano a cohon, na a nipanam crum, be a yed or pest, a woho, if it's a lockdown or monk. It is a shanty region, the end of figures no nano, the upper pepper, and Sayibia, and the Yambazebe can be beautiful for the other day. I contradict the penny for Edia Barber to them. 